In this video, I will show you how you can format your USB thumb drive using Gparted. Now the operating system I'm using is Ubuntu Mate 18.04 and I'm on a laptop. This will, should work for other Linux distributions that have Gparted installed. Now if Gparted is not installed with your operating system, you can look below the video on YouTube and I'll have the instructions for installing Gparted and I'll have a link to my website so that you can look at illustrated pictures or images on how to install it if you can't follow along or can't remember stuff from this video. Now before I get started, I do have a 4 gig thumb drive plugged into my USB of my laptop. But before I open up Gparted, I want to show you the devices. I have one internal hard drive, which my Ubuntu Mate 18.04 is installed, and I have my other files and folders, as you see here. And then my device is a 4 gig thumb drive. It shows up as a 3.9 because there's some space that's used for the operating systems that it's plugged into. There's one folder here that I've been using this to record uh, shows on Sunday night. There's some old EastEnder programs that I will get rid of by reformatting this thumb drive. But you want to remember the size of this device. So when we open up Gparted, you can tell the difference between your internal hard drive or you may have several internal hard drives if you're using a desktop system. So we want to make sure that you understand what your thumb drive looks like. Now we're going to open Gparted. It's in the system tools and the name is Gparted. You want to enter your password and after you enter your password you click authenticate and that will open up your Gparted program. It will scan and this is the information from my hard drive. Remember when I opened up my uh, file manager, Kaha file manager, my big hard drive which is Tommy as you can see here is 241.7 gigabytes free and the 3.9 which is my 4 gigabyte so I don't want to format my internal hard drive I want to format my thumb drive so I close this so to change from my internal hard drive to my thumb drive you've got to make sure first you put it in your thumb drive uh, slot before you access Gparted if not close Gparted put in your thumb drive make sure it's recognized and then open up Gparted put your password but click the drop down here and as you can see here, this is a 298 gig. That's the internal hard drive in my laptop. Here's the thumb drive, the 3.6. Is this is important? If you accidentally select the wrong hard drive or drive, you could actually format the wrong drive and wipe off everything off your system. So be very careful. Uh, and even before you put your thumb drive in, you might want to open up Gparted to see all the, the drives that you have and maybe take a screenshot of it. So when you put in your thumb drive, you can tell the one that's different. So you click on the thumb drive, and as you can see here, it's almost full because it has a, a couple of EastEnder programs that I recorded late Sunday nights. You want to then click onto the drive itself in the lower right hand or the lower section of the dialog box. Right click, and you're going to choose Unmount. And it's going to go through and scan for a moment. You click on it again, right click, and here's where you go through, and you have a lot of choices for formatted. We're going to choose FAT32. As you can see here, the last time it was formatted, it was an NTFS. It was formatted on a Windows system uh, with the typical Windows format. That's the type that Windows uses. Now, we could go back to it, and that would work on Linux, and it would work on Windows. But if you try to put this thumb drive in a uh, machine, an iMac machine, it might cause problems and wouldn't be able to read it. Your FAT32 is your most common type format for thumb drives or USB drives. There are limitations, but this video is not to get in the difference between all the different ways that you can format your drive. So we're going to select FAT32 because that's the common format for USB drives. And when we do that, we select it again, it's ready to be formatted. When you're ready to format, you click the green check that says apply all operations. And it says, are you sure you want to apply the pending operations? Uh, editing partitions has the potential to cause loss of data. You are advised to back up your data. Now I don't really care about those two shows that I've because I've already watched them. So I'm ready to click apply. And now if this was in your internal hard drive and you wasn't sure you can cancel out to make sure you're in the right one. So it's trying to warn you so if you mess up it's not the software's mistake. You click apply and it's going through and it's wiping off your data and it's reformatting your data and it's completed. So if you want to look at your details, it shows you that it took four seconds to reformat uh, that four gig thumb drive. So you can say close, and when it's finished, it'll 
let you know here so you can close it out. Now we'll go back into our Kaha file manager click on to the 3.9 gigabyte volume and as you can see it's empty so if I want to right click I can say create a folder and I'll just call it temp and then I can come up here let's say I want to go into my uh, pictures folder and I'm going to randomly select one of my photographs in my picture folder and I have a lot of them let's say that I pick up this Christmas background wallpaper so I copy it go back to my thumb drive put it in my temp folder paste it and I can double click and access my uh, wallpaper for my Christmas wallpaper so as you can see here it's now cleared off and if you look down here for free space it's 3.9 gigabytes so this was a very simple process for formatting your USB it's just use make sure you have gparted installed and then once you get into gparted just follow the steps that I showed you and again if you would like to see illustrated steps click the link below the video and you can see the illustrated steps for using gparted on your Linux system. Hopefully that this has been a help to you and have a great day.